there. I'm so happy you joined me today because this is going to be an informal video where I show you some beautiful sweaters. And thank you to Zigu for partnering with me in this video. Zigu is one of Amazon's best online retailers for women. They sell a variety of everything. If you've seen my recent video where I featured their pajamas, they are just incredible. Here is a picture of my favorite pajamas from them. Isn't that absolutely darling? I love it. And in fact, I just bought it for my daughter-in-law, Melanie, the same PJs, and also my 90-year-old mother-in-law, Darlene, who I love. And on Christmas morning, I'm going to be wearing those pajamas, and then they're going to open theirs. And it's going to be kind of like a girl's three-generation slumber party in those great pajamas. And that is a company the brand has that specializes in pajamas called Eckhauer Pajamas and Loungewear. But this company they have is called Zigu. And basically it is sweaters, hoodies, all kinds of clothes for winter, spring, summer, fall. And this is one of their sweaters and I absolutely love it. I showed this to Alan and he asked me to order it because he said, you don't have anything like that. And I think he likes the little peekaboo cutout, although I have nothing to peekaboo in my cutout. But if you do, imagine how great this sweater would look on you. I have it paired with some fabulous Amazon cargo pants and the neat thing I like about this outfit is the sweater is form fitting and kind of tight on the top. And then the cargo pants are big and baggy and that's what you need to make cargo pants work. And people can wear cargo pants with any shape or size. It doesn't matter thin, curvy, large, it doesn't matter as long as you keep it small on the top, which is why I really do like this sweater. It is form fitting and it has the extra little peekaboo and it looks great with cargo pants. Now, this is another wonderful Zigu sweater and I think it's a classic and yet it combines a classic kind of an oversized sweater look with this quarter zip here. I don't know if you can see that, but it is absolutely beautiful. It's got a little silver zipper here with a wonderful little silver round uh, zipper pull. And I particularly love this sweater because you can wear it up like this, which I think is cute. I mean, we used to do this in the 90s, but I think it's a good look now. And also, I do love the oversized nature of it. See the sleeves? They are very, very oversized. And in a lot of cases, when you see a sweater on Amazon especially, on the model, it will look very cool and oversized, and then you'll get it, and it will just be a standard sweater. This is truly an oversized sweater, but yet I get it in the small, and it doesn't look too big for me. It just looks very fashionably oversized. I love the little slits on each side, and I love the fact that it is long enough to cover up the real estate that sometimes is better left covered up. And I have it paired with these Levi's wedgie jeans. At first, I wasn't sure I liked them. I got them last year because they are ankle length, but now I'm really getting into that. And cargo pants are very in, and so are ankle length jeans. They look very, very current, and I have it paired with simple black boots. I think this is a wonderful casual outfit, but yet it still lets you look like you have some style. This next sweater is also a Zigu sweater, and I particularly love it. It is great now in the fall, but this color especially would be wonderful around the holidays. Even in a winter white color, which I think they have, that would be great as well. I particularly like the crew neck, and I paired it with a little white t-shirt underneath. And amazingly enough, I have it with those cargo pants, my favorite ones, and it looks good. I normally think that you need a slimmer sweater on top, but I think this is slim enough and it really upgrades the look to have the, the wide new in-style cargo pants with the new sweater. And what I particularly like about the sweater is this beautiful arm treatment, the sleeve treatment, the beautiful cable knit there. It looks so quality. And again, the dropped shoulder, which is really, really in now. I love it that it has a beautiful little, little neck band here that is slightly different in knit. And then it also has the band around the bottom of the sweater that is also more of a straight pattern there, which just gives it a little more expensive look than if they just done the entire sweater plain with the exception of the sleeves, of course. The sleeves are outstanding and I think you would really love this sweater and get lots of use out of it. Okay, this is one of my favorite sweaters on Amazon and you can tell because look how many colors I own it in. 
And I got my mother-in-law, Darlene, I got her hooked on the sweater because just maybe three weeks ago, she said, you know, I've got 60 bucks. I want to go buy a sweater. I said, you don't need 60 bucks to buy a sweater. I said, there is a wonderful sweater on Amazon, which you will love, which she loves these very classic kind of crew neck sweaters. I said, it comes in a ton of different colors and you will really like it. And it's probably about half that price. And so she ordered it in white. Here it is on her in white. Doesn't she look darling? And she's 90 years old. She is my hero. I want to be her when I'm 90 years old. And then I said, that looks so great on you. You could be like an Instagram model. And I said, why don't you wear the black one you ordered to the family dinner we had last Tuesday? Here's a look at the family dinner. We have them every Tuesday at my house. They're very informal, but they're, they're great. And here she is in front of our fireplace in this same black sweater. And doesn't it look absolutely darling? I love this sweater because it is a classic and it is very form fitting, but it looks great on everyone. I have owned these sweaters for probably two to three years. They've been in and out of the washer. I hang them to dry, but they look exactly like they did the day I bought them. They are an absolutely great classic sweater. Okay, here is the pink version of that classic sweater I had on, the one with the brass buttons. And by the way, the brass buttons really do go very well with gold jewelry, which I'm totally into now, so that works out well. But I love this sweater, but the main reason I'm showing it to you is I wanted you to see these fantastic cargo pants. They are amazing, and I've ordered like maybe three different sets of cargo pants, you know, probably a, a total of six or seven cargo pants, and none of them have the quality that these do, and none of them have the fit that these do. So if you haven't yet gotten into cargo pants, these are a great entry cargo pant. They are long enough to go with your heels, and they have that model look because they kind of almost touch the floor, but not quite. And it has the pockets, and it is just a beautiful pair of cargo pants. And I'm wearing the pink top because I wanted to show you the blue version, the black version I showed earlier. But I have this little reversible cognac belt on. It's a Ralph Lauren belt, which is very reasonable, maybe 50 bucks, but you get two good uses out of it because you'll always wear black and the cognac is a wonderful accent. And I'm also carrying this gorgeous Teddy Blake purse. And I've kind of been into the idea of quiet luxury lately. And I love their purses because they're totally 100% leather. They're made in Italy. They are super, super fine quality and yet they are reasonable in price, and I think they look great with this outfit. Okay, this is again one of my favorite sweaters on Amazon. It is a color-blocked, very nubby textured sweater. I don't know if you can see that. I've had this one for maybe three years, and it still looks just brand new. In fact, I'm very tempted to order it in the gray-black combination because I would love to have that, but I have all these sweaters, and so I probably wouldn't wear it, although I'm super tempted to do that. But I love these color block sweaters, especially ones that bottom out in black, because as you can see, I have it on with these cargo pants. And although this is not a totally slim fitting sweater, I think it looks very good with the cargos. I have that reversible belt showing the cognac side and the cognac Teddy Blake purse again, which I think goes very well with that. But this is just a beautiful sweater that you can dress up or you can even just wear it with blue jeans and have a very casual look, which is wonderful. This next outfit features a long mid-length jacket. That's what it's called actually, is mid-length. I was going to say midi-length, which it is not quite. It's maybe just above the knee. And Ziku features this in several different lengths. So if this longer length isn't exactly for you, there is a length there that will suit you and look great on you. And this is a shacket. It's a mixture between a shirt and a jacket, a shacket. And I love this one in particular. I particularly love this particular plaid because it has the cognac colors, the tan colors, the black colors, but they also have cooler tone shackets in the plaid. They have great plaids that this jacket is featured in. I love it though, because it's an updated silhouette from a few years ago. When they first had the shackets, they were pretty form fitting, but look at the oversized shoulder here the larger sleeves, the oversized look of the whole jacket, the beautiful black buttons, and I love it, of course, that it has pockets on both sides. This is a beautiful jacket that I've been wearing outside, you know, taking walks in the crisp fall weather. It is perfect for a dressed up look, but it is even better just dressed down with jeans. It is a wonderful jacket that you'll get a lot of use out of. Okay, I really love this jacket from Zigu. It is a bomber jacket and bomber jackets are really in, and they have this in a myriad of different colors, plus black, 
but I got it in the black satin, which is really fun, I think. And they have several different colors in the satin as well and the satin finish. And I think it just gives it kind of a kind of an evening, kind of a glam look. And with the holidays coming up, I think I'll get a lot of use out of this. And I think when you're going to a party and you have everything else kind of casual, that having a satin bomber jacket just upgrades that look, glams it out a bit. And of course, I really do love that. And in this outfit, I again feature my favorite black cargo pants from Amazon. I do have a belt with it. It's just something I found in my closet. It's actually a little bit big. You, you can't tell that. But the neat thing is about a simple outfit like this with a white tee and the black cargo pants and the very neutral jacket, that any old belt that you have in your closet that's a little bit upgraded could really take this look up to a whole new level. Now, this next sweater is perfect if you like oversized, nubby, textural sweaters in winter white. And this also, of course, comes in many different colors, but I love it. I don't know if you can see the texture of it. It is very nubby and it's not a cheap texture. It's an expensive feeling sweater. I love the wide band around the crew neck and I absolutely love these huge sleeves, which are stitched there to where they don't fall down because these sleeves would probably go over your hands if they came down. But I think it is absolutely beautiful. And I particularly like the banding on the bottom there and it goes clear around the back. Absolutely a beautiful, beautiful sweater. I could see wearing this even to a Christmas party with the right jewelry or certainly with jeans at a casual event. I think it would be just perfect. Now, I am a sucker for black sweaters. Probably with all of these sweaters, I could have ordered them in black and been very, very happy. Even though I'm a spring, I just love the look of black sweaters in the winter. And I certainly love the look of turtlenecks, as I mentioned before. And I think in black, this just looks elegant and classy. And it still is definitely oversized. And I have it paired with black boots. And again, I have the Levi's wedgie jeans, which are the ankle length jeans. They're not high water. They're supposed to be like that. And I have a little video of me showing it with the Teddy Blake 14 inch purse. I love those oversized purses. And I think the oversized nature of the purse goes really well with the oversized turtleneck sweater. All right, I love bold geometric colors and shapes and stripes is I guess where I was trying to get to with this. And this is an oversized mock turtleneck sweater. It looks like a turtleneck, but it's not. And in a way that's nice because you never have a problem with the turtleneck bunching or rolling up or something like that, really do like that. And then again, it has the dropped shoulder, which is so in right now, and the big oversized sleeves. These are very large sleeves, and yet they hit you at a good place, just over, over that little bone, I would say, is where they hit, which is a very attractive length. I love this sweater because it is baggy and oversized. And, you know, when you're sitting around in the winter, you know, having a, you know, a social event with someone, the last thing you want to do is worry about your stomach being pulled in. I just think this is a super comfy sweater and you could get a lot of use out of this over the coming winter and certainly the holiday season. Okay, this sweater is another variation on the fluffy white sweater that I just showed you. I guess it was off-white, but I particularly like this one because I'm a sucker for stripes and it has that same wonderful nubby texture of the other one. I hope you can see it. It has the dropped shoulder here and again the stripes continue down and it has this huge wide cuff which I think is so super attractive and I have it shown with a half tuck here and some people like that some people don't and I'll show you in just a minute how it looks totally untucked but again this has that very modern oversized look and I think the geometric looking stripes just give it a little more class a little bit more of a structured look which I think is super attractive. All right, I particularly like this sweater. I love color block sweaters. As I mentioned before, I like them when they can end up with a bottom layer being black, because then if you have black pants on, it just kind of blends together seamlessly. And these are jeggings. These are not skinnies, but they look quite skinny. They were super huge in last year, and I wore them like crazy because they're, they're one piece and they're comfortable and they don't have a zipper. They are great. And I think this outfit illustrates that as long as you have a huge layer on the top, as this is definitely a huge sweater, then you can get away with wearing your skinny jeans or your jeggings on the bottom. 
and I think it's actually a very, very attractive look. The only thing that looks out of style to me anymore is if someone has the skinny jeans and then a very skinny top, that just looks so last year, as they would say. But anytime you have a large oversized sweater, in fact, any of the sweaters that I showed in this video, most all of them are oversized. They do look great with your remaining skinny jeans that you have or with leggings or jeggings. And you know, I don't think we should ever give up the look of our leggings because they're kind of classic. And as long as you have something oversized on the top, I think they still look very current. Okay, what sweater video would be complete without a sweater dress? And you can wear this black long turtleneck dress with or without little jeggings. And just since I happen to have them on, I left them on, but this would be fine just with black socks and black boots or cognac boots, something like that. You could dress it up with a belt. And this is kind of odd. I have this in a bunch of different colors because I was working when I ordered this dress last year. And so it was so easy just to put one of these on and I could get through work very easily. And as you can see, I have tons of different colors in this. And oddly, I have this dress in both a small and a medium. This one is a medium and it seems to fit just fine. So I'm not really sure if you would call that true to size, but I think what it means is it is stretchy and so it can kind of accommodate, you know, a couple of different sizes either way. I also really like the jewelry that I have on. This is a fossil two-tone watch and it has the gorgeous CZ bezel and fossil watches are quite, quite quality. And I really like this. And then I have a little engravable bracelet. It has room to engrave something nice on the inside. I think I engraved something religious there. But anyway, this is a beautiful sweater dress either to be worn as a dress or to be worn as basically a long sweater over jeggings. Well, that's it for my sweater video. And I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And lately, I guess my thoughts have been centering in this house because I've been here a lot lately since I'm retired now. But I have been thinking a lot about keeping the house clean and how to do that. And this is a super, super simple tip, but it is something that all of a sudden I just realized and it makes all the difference in the world. And that is that clean something up to the level that you want it. I like to think of it as kind of like model home level because I like things to look really neat and tidy and clean. Here's a look at my makeup room, which used to be a God awful mess. And now it is totally clean. And the tip to keeping it clean is very simple. That is at the end of my work day, before I leave the room and shut the door, which I do to shut off my work. But before I leave, I make sure that everything is exactly in its place where it was when I started the day. And my husband has a very messy desk in part of the family room in our basement. And he is such a hard worker. I hate to mention it to him, but I've been kind of subtly cleaning up things in the house and leaving them clean. Because once you clean them, if you always leave them that way, then they tend to stay at least straight looking, maybe not clean, but they stay straight looking. So I've been kind of giving him subtle compliments because he has been kind of cleaning up his office a little more and a little more and a little more. And I say, boy, you look like you're really getting organized down there. So I'm hoping that over time, that last pretty public, but pretty messy place in our house will be straightened up and will stay that way. And if you have great tips you use to keep your environment looking its best, I hope you'll share the information in the comment section below the video because that way we can help each other and maybe I'll share your tip in a future video. Take care and I'll see you in my next one.